So this is a, um, a whole bunch of information from all the compact fluorescents over at uh, CMU. Uh, and you know, these are smart fluorescents, so they're tracking a lot of things. This is installation date by wattage. So you can see sort of uh, things that were installed a long time ago are using more wattage, and that's actually kind of a, a function of, of degradation. I can actually look at the maybe duty cycle and give me a range and try to see if I can understand the patterns. So I'm, I'm kind of doing a dynamic query. I'm trying to understand, you know, those four sets of striations of wattage, you know, is it based on the duty cycle? That's sort of how often the lights are turned on and off. I don't really see a pattern. Let me, let me get rid of that dynamic query. Um, so, but I'm, I'm interested, so I'm going to keep exploring. So I can take that data and maybe I'll add um, another chart to the right. This is a really powerful feature of commotion. I can, I can do coordinated uh, graphing. Um, and so I'm going to go and pick up, um, I'll, I'll uh, extract the symbolic, the, the data, and I'm going to uh, transplant it over to this one. But I'm actually going to change the, uh, the attribute here. I'll change it to, do, 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 let's see, duty cycle. So now I can see duty cycle and installation date at the same time. And now I'm going to see, well, you know, are there some things going on here? So there are some outliers. I notice these guys um, not turned on and off very much. That's duty cycle. But they're still using some higher wattage. Let's color those. Um, so there's a little bit of a pattern there. Clearly stuff installed a long time ago is less efficient no matter how often you turn them on and off. And that's, that's a function of kind of how compact fluorescents work. So, um, hmm, that didn't work. Let me, let me create another visualization. I can continue creating kind of things. So I'll extract... Um, the data again, and I'll um, insert another region, and and this isn't something maybe the casual user would do, but you know if you want to build a new visualization that other people could use, you could do this. So I'll, I'll transplant that, and this time I'll set the attribute to do, 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 I'll set it to policy. Um, let's see, yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, so now I can start to see some things. Are there different policies of how people have set up these these lights? Uh, they're smart lights, you know, and so maybe duty cycle one. That's actually, it shows up directly as that striation. That's like the best policy because it uses the lowest wattage even for stuff that is installed quite a while ago. Maybe that's automatically turn things off at the end of the day or maybe that's a policy where, um, you know, it says if this light is really inefficient, use it but turn it off after an hour so that it sort of forces it to be a little bit annoying for people and they change it. You know, if you don't have maybe, um, you know, a maintenance crew there that, that, that does this stuff on some regular schedule. So I can go and I'm, I'm just continuing to mark these with different colors um, uh, so that I can so that I can see the striations and sure enough there are sort of direct correlations between those and even though I marked them on the graph you'll notice they're actually marked over in the original data because it's really manipulating one information object. So I could be looking at it one way, you could be looking at another, and we could collaborate over it, which is a really powerful idea, um, sort of one unique item of information, uh, and then looking at it with different maps or different ways of looking at things. So I, I just mentioned map. Let me pull out a map, and I could actually visualize this stuff on a map too. I could um, select all of these guys and just drag them out uh, over here to the map. Maybe I want to see if there are patterns there. Uh, this is interesting. So they have different duty cycles um, in this building, but I want to see kind of where those devices are from this particular building. And now I can see back on my, on my list exactly where that stuff is.